Here, let us see how to factorize cubic polynomial by splitting the middle term. Let us consider the expression p of x equals x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5. Considering the number 5, factors of 5 are plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 5. Now, by trial and error method, we get that p of minus 1 equals minus 1 the whole cube, minus 3 into minus 1 the whole square, minus 9 into minus 1, minus 5. So, minus 1 whole cube is minus 1, minus 3 into minus 1 the whole square is just 1, so 3 into 1 is again 3 here. So, minus into minus is plus, so 9 into 1 is 9 and minus 5. So we have minus 1 and minus 3 is minus 4, minus 4 and minus 5 as minus 9. So we have minus 9 plus 9 which gives us 0. So therefore p of minus 1 equals 0. Now because of this we can conclude that x plus 1 is a factor of x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5 and this comes from the factor theorem. Now that x plus 1 is a factor of x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5, that shows that this expression can be completely divisible by x plus 1. So let us go ahead and divide x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5 by x plus 1. So the first term of the quotient will be x square and that comes because of the first term of the dividend divided by the first term of the divisor is x square. So therefore multiplying the quotient with the divisor we get x cube into x is x cube and x square into plus 1 is plus x square. Now subtracting these this is 0 and we have minus 3x square minus x square is minus 4x square. And now let us get these terms below. So that makes it minus 9x minus 5. Now this is the first term of the dividend. That is minus 4x square. And that needs to be divided by the first term of the divisor. That is x. So we have minus 4x here. So minus 4x becomes the second term of the quotient. And now we need to multiply minus 4x and the divisors. So minus 4x into x is minus 4x square and minus 4x into 1 is minus 4x. So we need to subtract now. So this is 0. Change the sign here. It becomes minus 5x and get this down. We get minus 5x minus 5. So now again, this becomes the first term of the dividend. So we again have to divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor, which gives us minus 5 that is minus 5x by x is minus 5. So minus 5 becomes the third term of the quotient. Now we'll have to multiply minus 5 and the divisor. So minus 5 into x is minus 5x. Minus 5 into plus 1 is minus 5. Now subtracting these we get 0. So now we have x plus 1 into x square minus 4x minus 5. Now when we multiply these two, we are going to get back this main expression that we started off with. So therefore indirectly, it goes on to show that x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5 can be written as in a factorized form as x plus 1 into x square minus 4x minus 5. So now, we have splitting of the middle term. Now the splitting of the middle term will come into play. Now that we have factorized this into two terms, this is a quadratic equation. Now we need to split this middle term and then factorize this even further. So we'll write x plus 1 as usual and x square minus 4x minus 5 can be factorized as x square minus 5x 
plus x minus 5. That is because we need factors of 5 such that when we add them or subtract them or the sum of them gives us minus 4x as well. So here we have minus 5 into plus 1 gives us minus 5 and at the same time we have minus 5x plus x giving us minus 4x. So now simplifying this a little further we have now let us group these two terms and let us take out common terms so we get x minus 5 and here there is x minus 5 already so we just need to add a plus 1 so plus 1 into x is x plus 1 into minus 5 is minus 5 now we can see that in this whole term or in this whole expression x minus 5 is present in both the terms that is this term and this term so we can take out x minus 5 that will give us x plus 1 into x minus 5 into x plus 1. So this is the factorized form of this expression here. So just to summarize it in a nutshell, we first have to find a factor of x cubed minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5 and then divide the same expression by that factor, of find the quotient and the quotient will happen to be a quadratic equation and the quadratic equation can be factorized by splitting the middle term because of which we get two more factors by which this is completely factorized.